Okay, this is the follow-up video to what we did today in class. Uh, you'll remember this. This is a piece of foam core, and I've labeled out all the size pieces that I need to build the, the theater. Uh, the green lines are the measurement lines, so I need one piece that is 16 inches wide by 8 inches deep. Now down here, this is our proscenium, so that's why some of these measurements are in red. This area here is going to get cut out so the audience can see. So we'll refer to this as we go along. So I'm just going to tuck that up at the top of my um, piece of board. Now, things you're going to need. You're going to need a box cutter. If you haven't, if this isn't brand new or you haven't just changed the blade, change the blade. Yardstick ruler. If you're working on black foam core, you're going to need a bright colored pencil that'll show up. Uh, a regular pencil on black foam core becomes really hard to see. Now, I'm working on my drafting table, but I still have a cutting mat. Uh, you know, it's not the same size as my tabletop, so I'll have to be aware of where I'm cutting so that I don't mess up my tabletop. You're cutting at home, which means you're probably cutting on a dining room table or a kitchen countertop. You need to be very careful to make sure you have something under your foam so that you don't damage that table or that countertop. So be smart, plan ahead. Okay, now, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna draw this line because I've got a lot of stuff that is 16 inches long. So I line up my yardstick with the edge of my board. Remember, two points make a line. So I make one mark at 16. I think I'm going to like the orange better. That blue kind of disappeared. And there's my other one. Okay. I am going to need to move that out of the way. So, here are my two points. You see the blue one did kind of disappear. So, line up on my two points. There it is. And this just gets drawn the length of the piece of foam core. So, this is going to be my back, my stage floor, my back wall, and my proscenium wall over here. Now, my stage four in scale is eight inches. So I just measure down eight inches. My front wall and my back wall in scale are both five inches. So one, two, three, four, five. And 13 plus five is 18. So, I'm going to have a little bit left over here. That's fine. Okay. Come over to this edge and do the same thing. Now, the ruler I'm using, zero doesn't start at the edge. So, I've got to match up my zero. So, eight and 13. And 18. Okay, this is 16 inches wide. And for drawing these, you know, using my ruler is fine. I'm gonna put a lot of pressure straight down here so that when I draw, my ruler doesn't move. switch over to my yardstick because remember I need these two pieces over here and see this line is the same 
So it's easier to draw that all at one time. That way it will be straight and true. Now it is a long line, so I'm gonna move my hand in the middle so that my yardstick doesn't move. Okay. Now, as I discovered, that blue really doesn't show up well on that black foam core. So let's try a yellow pencil. Okay, now going back to your example, we're gonna mark the proscenium opening. So this line across the top and down. The proscenium opening is centered in this wall. So, first thing I need to do is find center. Okay, this I know this is 16 inches wide. Half of 16 is eight. So, just gonna make my mark there at eight inches. Okay, 11. My proscenium opening is 11 inches. Half of 11 inches is five and a half. So line up five and a half on my mark that I made a little moment ago. And I mark zero and 11. Now this is four inches high. Remember the whole piece is five inches. So I can either measure up from here four inches or down from there uh, one inch. Either's fine. I'm gonna measure up. So. so this gets marked right here at eight. And then slide over here to the your other point and do the same thing. Yeah, while I was doing that over on the other side, I should have made that mark. Because now I have to come back over here, put my ruler back in place, and draw my line. And draw your line across the top. Okay, so there's my proscenium opening. Now I'm not going to draw in these blue and the, I'm sorry, these green and red lines. They're just there for you to refer to as you're making yours. Okay. I need to mark out these two pieces. They're both five inches wide. So, one mark at five, one mark at 10. straight down. Okay. So, now on my black piece of foam core, I've got marked out my stage floor, my back wall, my proscenium wall, my right side and left side of the stage. So, that done, now I am ready to cut. So, get some things out of the way here. Won't need the colored pencils anymore. We'll need that. We'll need this. Don't need this anymore. Okay. Now, easiest thing to do 
is to get this into smaller pieces. So I'm going to cut this line first. Okay. Open up your utility knife. Make sure the blade is locked so it doesn't depress as you start to cut. Line up your yardstick on your line. Now, yeah. I've got my cutting mat, so I'm good, so I'm not going to cut through onto my tabletop. Pressure down. Whoops. Pressure down and keep it tight against the yardstick. Okay, now this piece, that's a little messed up. I'm gonna have to mark out another one of those for later. Okay, now, you're gonna be really tempted to cut these three pieces apart and do this piece separate. It's easier to cut the opening if you have the big piece of foam core there. So, press down. Cut all the way to the edge. Now, you'll also notice that as you start making smaller cuts, it gets easier because you don't have to worry about your yardstick or your ruler moving. So, now, turn this. I'm not going to worry about trying to cut that all the way across because it'll move. So. Now, this is the hard cut. You want to be really careful not to go past your other side. I'm still, there we go. Now it is free. I'm going to hold on to that. That'll make really nice walls. Okay, I'm going to need to cut my back wall free from everything else. So, there's my proscenium arch. Now I've got my stage floor. Gonna lay all these things aside so that I don't cut them by mistake. That's trash. Okay, my sidewalls. Nice, even pressure. That's going to be extra. Now, this is messed up. Bummer. But it's only foam core. Now, I can reuse this to be walls for my set. Because my set walls are not as tall as my theater walls are. So, I don't have to waste that. Here's my one side wall. So, all those things will make um, set walls. Now, I can, out of this piece, I could cut this 
or I can cut down to here. Remember, treat foam core like we do the lumber. The smallest, biggest piece so that you don't waste. back and I'm just gonna lay this piece that I've already cut out on here and make my marks grab my ruler because don't need the yardstick I'm not cutting something super super huge From pressure down and pressure towards the ruler so the blade stays tight to where I want it. Same thing on this side. From pressure down. There we go. Okay, so there's my other side wall. Got a little bit more trash. Gonna hold on to all of these things. That's probably not real useful. But the rest of the stuff I can use to make so that's all your pieces for your theater. So you know that's the first thing we need to do. So we're gonna stop here and we'll come back to a second video to put it together.